Բարի երեկո սիրելի հարինակիցներ, այսօր AMGA եթերում ես անդրանիք դվլատյանս պիտի ներկայացնեմ մեր նոր հեռուստաշարը, որը կսկսի էս որվանից մեր անդրանիք հաղորդում նսա, որը կոչվում է ի պաշպանություն Հայաստանի և պատիվ ունեմ իրեն եստեղ ունենալով, բայց նախորոք սկսելուց առաջ ասեմ և ավելացնեմ, որ մեր հեռուստաշարը հիմնականում կլինի պաշպանություն Հայաստանի հեռուստաշար լինելով պրմոշն անելով և պրովագանդան մեծացնելով, որ մենք հավակենք մեր երտասարդներին և ինչու չէ տարիքն էլ տեղը մարդկանց, որ սկսենք մեր հայկական և ամերիկյան ռազմական վարժարանը, որը կոչում մենք ապրիլի 24-ինք ունենանք շատ մեծ հավակ, որը չի լինի ուղշերի վրա, կլիրի իսկապես մտահոգված հայերի հավակը, տեղը ժամը մենք կհայտարարենք որտեղ, բայց սա կլինի ապրիլի 24-ին և հրավիրում են բոլորին, որ իսկապես սրտացավ են մեր հայրենիքի համար, ներկադրությամբ ամերիկայում մեր երտասարդների վիճակի համար, որ հավակվենք մի տեղ և մեր ուժը մեկ տեղ բերելով մեր երկու հայրենիքներին տեղ կանգնենք, մեր Հայաստանի ծանոթացնեմ։ Սո անգլերենով ասացը սկթարկման եմ հայրենով էլ վերջում, խնդրում եմ համպերատարեղեք։ I have here with me the chief of police of city of Pasadena and I want him to introduce himself and at this point maybe ծանոթացնինք դիրեն ձեզ հետ, սիրելի հայրենակիցներ։ Why don't you tell us, you know, your name, your 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 position with 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 the police department? How it is that you started as a young man and a Boy Scout, from what I understand, all the way to chief of police in my beautiful Pasadena, my hometown. Welcome, sir. It's an honor to have you here. Thank you for doing what you do for our people and protecting our families out there. God bless you. So please tell us a little bit about yourself and and, and your background with the police. Well, Tony, first, thank you for having me on the program it's and an thank you for your you. support. Uh, we have some of the best police officers in my opinion, in Pasadena to serve with honor and courage and, and dedication. Agreed. Uh, my journey really uh, started uh, a long time ago. I've been in uh, policing for more than 35 years now. Uh, I, I am a Boy Scout. I am an Eagle Scout uh, and achieved my Eagle Scout rank. In 1974, I actually walked in the Rose Parade the same year mm -hmm. uh, carrying the Queen's banner that would uh, announce uh, that trophy winner uh, of the float that year. I started my law enforcement career uh, at the city of Pasadena, I'm sorry, at the city of Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. I worked there for about 28 years, ascended through the ranks. I worked in SWAT and in patrol, undercover narcotics, those kinds of things that are always very exciting for a young man. Uh, then I started to promote through the ranks, uh, sergeant, uh, lieutenant, captain, nice. deputy chief. Uh, and then in 2010, I was privileged enough to uh, test and uh, be selected as the 16th uh, chief of police for the city of Pasadena. Mm. I uh, currently uh, supervise uh, a staff of 383 employees. Mm -hmm. We have about a $77 million budget. Mm -hmm. We serve a community that's about 147,500 permanent population. And of course, we have the Rose Bowl and the Rose Parade and many of the other major events in the city. Our population that. swells well over to 500,000. Uh, we have some extraordinary men and women. Uh, the Pasadena Police Department is a full service department. Mm -hmm. We have narcotics and homicide, patrol, FTO, detectives, an air operations bureau. So I have and supervise six, uh, six aircraft. Uh, we teach our own people how to be pilots. So Pasadena has six and they teach to train their own pilots. That's correct, train our own pilots. And we have a program that serves uh, all uh, cities along the east corridor go, uh, on the 210 freeway going all the way east to Pomona. Uh, on average, we, uh, we arrest uh, between uh, 5,000 and 8,000 people a year annually. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, last year we recovered 286 firearms. It gets to be very busy. Uh, we had about 128,000 calls for service mm -hmm. where officers were actually called to go do something mm -hmm. in the community. Mm -hmm. And that's separate and in part from when my officers are driving around and, and they uh, you know, see extraordinary situations or they try to extend help. We have a community policing philosophy of the organization. Mm -hmm. So it's built on a three-prong approach. PI, it's pretty mm -hmm. easy to rem remember. It's like prevention, 
intervention, (laughs) and enforcement. And you know, Tony, if we're doing the first two pretty well, Mm -hmm. then we're going to have to do the last one less. So we're really about intervention and prevention. We're just starting to get into social media and trying to tell our story through social media, and that's why I appreciate this opportunity as well. We're going to push the propaganda. We're going to push the platform on it. This is always your platform. Thank you, Whenever you need something to be heard, especially deeply by by, by the large population of Armenians in Pasadena, that uh, you have a portion of the culture, I want to mention this, that really uh, it, the newcomers uh, and, and, and those that have been here for a while never really been exposed to, to this side because back home we had a different setting. We had mm-hmm. uh, the Stalinist, uh, the communist country, and, 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 and there's still the same effects back home, by the way. There's, there's still the same brutality going on. So they need to understand that this is not the police or the cop. This is right. our police. Right. So we're going to build that bridge of communication. Right. You're going to have that pipeline of information you need. You're going to have that support from, from that portion of the community and the population and as well from the others. Right. Um, the JROTC and the NDCC and the Armenian ROTC that we're starting is, go- is going to stand and do that for you and Glendale Police Department as well. Well, you know, I think that's a very important point, Tony, and I appreciate that the framework and all the great work you're doing in Glendale and in Pasadena as well You know, our young people really need a framework for success. We can't just assume that they're going to, uh, you know, learn about life or learn about how to be successful through osmosis. The truth is, is that we need good leaders in our community like you and others. I've always been very impressed with the Armenian culture, in part because I believe that the the Armenian elders, our, our parents and our grandparents, they put family first. Uh, they teach their children about the dance and the culture and the language, about yes sir, no sir, about how to engage somebody on a number of fronts. Uh, you know, people with different cultures and uh, different gender who might not look like you or act like you, but at least a healthy respect. I've had the distinct privilege to, to interact with many Armenian groups in Pasadena uh, through scouting and through mm-hmm. some other efforts as well. And I've always been very impressed awesome. about the, the young Armenian men and women who conduct themselves with maturity, uh, at least every time I've engaged them. There, there's few that, that we're going to teach to drive better here in town. So it, it's, I'm talking about a 25, 30 year old that's actually acting like a 14 year old sometimes. So we have that as well. Um, I'm not going to say no, but I appreciate how you notice that our young, you, you know, uh, th- they have an appreciation for the freedom that they enjoy. So it's, it's your wisdom and your guidance and your caliber of men and women in uniform that are going to give me that guidance to say, hey, you don't have to be a misfit all the time. You could be appreciated. Let me put a good collar guard together in each city. We're going to do this together. The United States Army is my passion. I never left it. And as far as uh, you know, what you saw with the first sergeant, like I said, um, as far as me and him being a volunteer, by the way, with the school mm-hmm. district, uh, me and him were in the Army. So he doesn't ask me to do anything. He calls. It's a mission. It gets done. And you can, you, that. you can count on me as well. When it comes to you and a career that you told me about, I have to mention, um, there's a man that worked here in this city. He's retired now. Um, His name's Officer Barnes, and I want to tell the city about this guy. They call him Agent Barnes, Officer Barnes. When I got into the Explorers program, he personally, as a man, not just a cop, was that fine line between gangs and everything else that was going on. It was all around me, Chief, uh, everywhere and explores and do you want to be like him? He was one man and a few words, mm-hmm. you know, he was, you see son, you are on the right path. It, it, it was very simple. I said, I want to be like him. Mm-hmm. I did the explorers, I did the ROTC and I got, at least the only thing that I got outstanding grades in, went to the army, came back, study, studied and studied military sciences. Like I said, artillery is always my passion from ancient to current, the M- M109, you know, air-conditioned artillery now. It's not like uh, the, the ancient days, right, where they had to roll the wood to get there. So I really have a deep appreciation for men like you and, and the men and women who put on a uniform and are under your command. Um, how do you see that wisdom transpire and, 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 and be, you know, t- t- transparent to each other, to bring this le- leadership teaching? It's not just army. It's, it also comes from men and, and, and people who've been there. Well, Tony, the I, veterans and, and, and the veterans that we saw on Memorial right, Day. Right. To bring that realization of appreciation and saying, you know, um, see, now you, you remember, Tony, you were 14, 14 and a half, somewhere in there. You remember Officer Barnes from Glendale Police Department that pulled you out of the mud. I mean, literally out of the mud. It was all around me. Mm-hmm. I decided I'm going to be. So how do I bring that 
it, it has to come from wisdom and advice. It, it doesn't take much. Maybe it'll take an email. But please, I, I need your people to always stay in touch. So bring realization and bring our young in touch with reality. Right. This is our goal. Well, you know, it's a, it's a complex question, Tony. First of all, I would say thank you for your service in, in the United States Army. I appreciate what you and your brothers and sisters have done over the years. The truth is that, you know, since the Continental, Continental Army uh, mm -hmm. back in the day, Minutemen response, the United States has always had a militia or an army that was there to prepare itself. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's blossomed into the Marine Corps, into mm -hmm. the Air Force, into well, the, the Navy, came from uh, you know, and uh, into the Coast Guard as well. Mm -hmm. uh, having a son that serves in the United States Army and having another son that's a, a police officer for a local municipality, I mm -hmm. understand the investment it takes to get young men to where they need to be. You know, I used to believe that uh, that soldiers or police officers uh, were, were born, that you were born to be a soldier. Mm -hmm. I, I don't believe that much anymore. The truth of the matter is, is that you're cultivated. Uh, and that, you I know, believe the term is, like the geographer said, I don't mean to interrupt you, Chief, I'm sorry. Environment will cause social development. So if we bring our young to our environment, we're going to have a str strong leadership in the future. Well, Can and those are key that? words, right? Uh, a positive environment and mm -hmm. leadership. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, whether it's uh, JROTC, uh, JROTC, mm -hmm. or some other program, mm -hmm. Boy Scouts, uh, mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, Boys and Girls Club, or a mm -hmm. Youth Mentoring Club, M M MPYD, whatever it is mm -hmm. that sets the framework where a young man, in mm -hmm. particular a young man, because mm -hmm. you know, Tony, we're different. Uh, we're different uh, cognitively. Mm -hmm. uh, our maturity rate is a little bit slower uh, than women. Uh, so we need a little bit different stimuli. We need a little bit different style of leadership. Uh, men typically in professional terms, men typically respond very well to men. That's why you did well in the military. Mm -hmm. I'd like to think that that's why I did pretty well in, in police services as well. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the key leadership that I see is a, is a, like with Jay Rotsey, you have, uh, yeah, and Blair in particular, mm -hmm. you have a program that offers a framework for success. Yes, sir. You have a mentor in the first sergeant, a mentor mm -hmm. in you, that you come to the young men and women and say, this is a program. You don't need to know anything about the military. Mm -hmm. You don't need to know anything about J. Rotsy. You don't need mm -hmm. to know anything about Boy Scouts. But I'm going to teach you through a series of structure and rank and, and framework mm -hmm. how to be successful. Absolutely. And if our young people adhere to that mm -hmm. uh, and they, they are full of energy and they push themselves beyond the expectation, then they're going to be successful. The way that the first sergeant keeps me in check and not being, you know, o o over, o you know, d don't jump the gun, Tony. Mm -hmm. Give the young men and women purpose and direction right. and guide them through it. That's all they need. Right. And, and it's amazing how that works because they're looking, a lot of them are looking for a, for a sense of belonging. Right. And, I, you know, uh, Tony, I think as the leaders with First Sergeant, with yourself, with, my, you know, with me as well in police work, and, and ultimately, you know, if a person went from Jay Rotsey to the military mm -hmm. and from the military to the Pasadena Police Department, I'd be blessed mm -hmm. uh, because we need those kinds of young men and women that, promise that have that, that. That, that broad experience that maturity, that life experience to, to do police work as well. But I think that your role and my role is extraordinarily important as well. You have all these young people who come to the program. Mm -hmm. And if the program isn't robust, if, if it isn't rewarding, if it mm -hmm. isn't stimulating, mm -hmm. uh, then, then it's going to fall by the wayside. So the, the leader, mm -hmm. you or first sergeant, whoever mm -hmm. it might be, the leader is critically important. I have my own youth programs as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the PAL, which is the Police Athletics League. And of course, mm -hmm. we have an Explorers program mm -hmm. that's under the direction and the leadership of uh, Sergeant Glenn Thompson. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you, this young man is, is just so extraordinary. He's touched so many lives professionally where he's it's allowed them me. to come up through the program me. and into the military and into the Pasadena Police Department as well. Mm -hmm. But I think also in that regard, Tony, every young man that enter, enters in, or young lady that enters into the Jay Rotsey program, mm -hmm. or every young person that enters into my PAL or Explore, Explore program, isn't going to be a soldier. Or, or isn't, isn't going to be, to be a, a police officer. We're going to produce right? a good citizen, bare minimum. Exactly. At a minimum, we give them the citizenship mm -hmm. and the, 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 the confidence to make good decisions. We give them the, the skills to, 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 to explore beyond and, your comfort level. And think of it this way, Chief. You and me are interviewing for med school. Everybody brings everything perfect. Everybody played volleyball and soccer. But one kid comes up and says, you know, I have an addition in my, in my portfolio. I got military leadership education and training. I did the full four years, and, and he kind of makes that prominent. 
I think Miyuni would pick that kid. Yeah, I think that's an important observation, Tony. Very, very, yeah. You know, and, our, in, in, and an extension so it's a of, resume right? enhancer, big time. Well, that extension of that logic is this: is that the military so values mm -hmm. scouting, particularly mm -hmm. if you're an Eagle Scout. And now, I've never been in the military, in full disclosure, mm -hmm. but I understand that there's rank, particularly in the Army and the Marine Corps, mm -hmm. maybe in other branches of the service as well. That if you're an Eagle Scout, mm -hmm. you start at a different rate than somebody who just comes off the street. So the, the, whole, the whole thing that we're talking Leadership. about here is whether it's J. ROTC mm -hmm. or Boy Scouts, the Army, uh, the Pasadena Police Department, local, uh, local law enforcement, whatever mm -hmm. it is, we're talking about people who have uh, you know, a sense of maturity mm -hmm. about themselves, a mm -hmm. sense of confidence about Absolutely. themselves, a sense of knowledge and to explore the unknown. Mm -hmm. One of the best things that, uh, from my perspective, in, in talking to professional soldiers like you and, and my son and others, one of the things I think that makes good soldiers mm -hmm. is the same recipe that makes a good police officer. You're Absolutely. curious about life. Yes. You want to know the answer to whatever the problem is, and you don't need to tell, you don't, nobody needs to tell you how to figure it out. And you do it for the love of it. Absolutely. Because somebody, somebody put you on the right path. Like you said, we're collective. Uh, collectively, we could do this. And if you think of, think of this particular direction that we're taking and a mission we have from a collectivist sense of view, like, you, you know, it, it, this is army knowledge with law enforcement knowledge. You've got your son that could probably maybe send us an email and say, hey, I was watching you guys. No, no, you, you do it this way. It would work better. The kids that were marching, do it this way. Right. You know, so all of this pulls right. together. So we do this collectivist of, of, of an approach in, in that manner, I think we're going to succeed. And, and, and I, don't, I would speak to your viewers, particularly your parents, I would say that, you know, don't shy away from a, a JROTC program or from a police program. We're not pushing program. towards the military, not exactly. necessarily. We're just trying exactly. to produce first and utmost. As a matter of fact, that's our acronym, and, and that's what the Army JROTC is about. We make better citizens. We make good citizens. Right. So uh, I want to translate that. Hargelitz and Ordej, Chief Ashat Love Me, Hetak Kirmi Bana says, Udeman JROTC, Yev Razmakam Varjaran Nedevorsk, Sumenk. Necessarily, that Uraki China Shanaku Vodrang Zimvatsu Jerpiti Matnen. Gone Hechvorche, Gone et me er Kutarva Idens Masnak Champ, Menk Kakaruanank, Inchvor Produsanel et Karkapa, Uchist Orinapa, Karakatsin. Vodavor, whatever me er Kriu Handra Petitan, Hasarakutan, Amvatangutan, Mechnunis Kamena Karibo element. I just told them that we don't necessarily try to push the army, but, but by producing better citizens, that is a major part and important part of national security right. as well. You know, right. but internally you have strong citizens, mm -hmm. you automatically have a strong country and a strong military. Absolutely, and Tony, I'd point out for your parents as well, as for the parents and, and your viewers also, you know, where, where they can help you and I, mm -hmm. is making sure that they're, they're involved in their children's lives. You know, and that they're pushing good grades in academics it, you know, uh, uh, internal uh, to the family, uh, appreciating the family unit, and these are these are kind of natural uh, mm -hmm. uh, na natural principles from what I can see. So, in other words, the, giving the, them the smartphone and a computer is not necessarily enough, is it? Well, we know our young people like to be connected, but mm -hmm. but you know, the truth is, is I think from my perspective, is that we probably should limit that. You know, so when you and I were young men, we were out playing baseball or football or something, mm -hmm. water polo, reality, yeah, doing something different. Uh, and uh, maybe if we would have had smartphones in the time, we would have wanted to talk to our friends as well. Mm -hmm. So everything in balance and everything mm -hmm. in perspective. I'm going to try. But I, 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 please. Yeah, I don't mean to cut your thought, but Chief Ichorut, you have met Chorut now. Iraq anutian het kapvats piti pahvek. Iraq anutian het nachts anognere piti manan. Technologian esorva vor zargatsela esashchani evet smartphone eri mechi aperits yev panerits ayo uneteket bolore baits irakanutian het kapi mech manatsek yev irakanutian mech shoshapeli oren zeriere khaneri kyanki mech mish nerkayutsun uneteket vorovet ev zer batsa kayutsun el ratsnuma miurish pan vore tanuma kortsan man chana par tsavok shat shat meriyer tasart neri so ameni chi mech zeriere khaneri kyanki mech real yev shoshapeli manatsek. That's yeah. Par parents shouldn't assume that uh, a computer or, or a smartphone is a safe environment without it, or for our, when our young people without supervision. 
So home computers should be placed conspicuously in the room, mm -hmm. like in the kitchen or the mm -hmm. living room, so that it's not in a bedroom where they mm -hmm. can uh, log on and, and sign on. I'm going to translate that as well. Yeah, for next shot, pokrik yer tasart ner kam yer khaner kam yer tasart ner vozer tan ner ter tsanohek duk yevu nek hamakar kich computer yevu nek tablet ner. Tumblr, <laughs> Co uh, Snapchat at Bana, Tusmem Nakar Nere Tesnem, Herachosit Mech, you have computer it Mech, Facebook it Ejabit Tesnem, Message Nere at Kartam, so Bats, Drama Amen Amen in Averi Lavkalini, Skazbitis, Skazbane, Computer Nere, Hamakar Kitchner, Bolor Computer Bana, I mean, Bats Tertanek, Zerira Senyak Nerum, Hoano, some serial it's an order. And then bringing it back to a program like J. Razi mm -hmm. or the Passing a Pal program or the Passing Explorers, mm -hmm. you know and I know we give our young men and young women confidence. Mm -hmm. And so they don't have to uh, fall into a, a group where everybody's just doing it because somebody said to do it. They're leaders. You know, they're leaders. They have the confidence to say, no, that's not right. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to do it this way. Him nakan. That's one of the main goals we have is for our kids to have that say, you know what, I'm a leader, not a follower. I change things. I don't change for the world. Right. I'm going to stay what's and do what's right. Mer karo hutsuna Zimbabwe jeri kohmits darats doctori naiov yev yev dasa vandelov yev var hutsunero vaskov yerkov yev dasa rani daserov. Mer var jarano meng tali sen kere khaneri nen karo hutsuna razmakan gitu chan mech yev vostika natan unet sats vostika ni programi mech ka orinak explores program unen kam boy scouts vorka. So Chief of Police in my hometown, and one one of my most honored guests that I've had so far on this uh, on this Herustashar. Uremen, uh, so basically, teach our kids to be leaders and not followers. Teach them leadership. Um, teach them maybe to lead their. I've seen parents led into the right path instead of destruction. So, kids who have been involved in programs like this, they learn how to lead, and they say, "Dad, no." Right. And the kid winds up saving the dad from bad friends and everything else. Right. So uh, this, this is an awesome thing. Um, tell me what our next step should be. Once I, start, once I have the roof and I start running and singing cadence, I have my color guard and everything else, where do I go from there? I mean, how, how do I bring in softly that it's okay to serve in, in the United States Army? The scout to soldier is a good a good thing for our country, mm -hmm. but stay in the program because you don't have to join the military. Stay in the program and get nourishment from from leadership. Become a leader. So they start attending. Um, 
it comes to a point where I get that boredom. What do I do? Put them on a bus, bring them to a field trip, maybe bring them to the gun range, show how the police train, bring them to the police station, let them meet some of your people. So are you, go are you gonna maybe have someone shoot me an email once in a while along with my, uh, uh, with my first sergeant? You know, I'm, he's got plenty for me to do. But you know, are you gonna have some kind of thing to where, Tony, here's what I advise, you know? Because I want both to be sometimes um, working together mm -hmm. uh, because they shut down the ROTC programs, mm -hmm. Chief. The one I went through, the one at PHS, so it's up to us. Mm -hmm. So I need to bring that, uh, th that, that benefit that parents are mm -hmm. going to get out of this as reality. But I need right. guidance from, from your side as well, you know, uh, in saying, hey, this is right. how you... Well, I'm happy to offer some insight on that, Tony. It's always a, you know, a complicated question, how to keep a program stimulated. Mm -hmm. I think uh, it's not only the interest of the child, but it has to be the interest of the parent. parent. The parent has to see value in your program. And the value that they see, or the, uh, the outcome of that value, is the quality of the young man or woman that... that, that is, is shaped through ROTC, Absolutely. shaped through Boy Scouts, or shaped through a, a, a explorer post like uh, Post 19 at the Pasadena Police Department. I think it helps when you bring in uh, talk uh, speakers that, you know, myself or Lieutenant Clausen, who happens to be my be uh, awesome PIO, idea. and he talks about not only policing and SWAT, where he's an expert in that area, mm -hmm. but he talks about his hobbies collecting paper money. And talking about the interest of paper money, he's a, uh, you know, a, a, an amateur chef, but he's very good at cooking and stuff. Those kinds of things, I think, keep our young people interested. They're not necessarily JROTC centric, but it's interesting to the young Absolute. person. Absolutely, right? that's what I'm talking about. Diversity of the things that you introduce. Yeah, and and I think that's that that's important. So you bring in those key speakers, mm -hmm. keynote speakers. You bring in a field trip, as you mentioned before. Mm -hmm. You bring your young people down to the passing of police department. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day we go to the range. Maybe one day we do tactics. Those kinds of things. I, I, I would really things. appreciate if one of, one of the men or women who stop by once in a while, you know, once every two three months and two months or so. Talk about these things. Well, and it's a buildup, right? So on your end of it, you're telling the kids, hey, uh, you know, uh, uh, j Rotsy students, this is what mm -hmm. we're going to be doing in the month of January or in the month of March. Mm -hmm. We have a keynote speaker coming in July. Mm -hmm. uh, we have somebody that's going to be talking about CrossFit or fitness. Keep them know, on my calendar exactly. instead of the... Exactly. Yeah. And so you have to keep their interest, mm -hmm. and, in, and you get the interest of the, the parent, so help support that as well, uh, that you give them the, 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 the tools to have a great uniform appearance. So Absolutely. you look very, very professional in uniform, Absolutely. but that takes care and concern mm -hmm. and effort and mm -hmm. knowledge to make the uniform look especially look, as it look, is. Look the way it the should. police uniform itself, mm -hmm. you know, every, everything that I wear on my police uh, uniform has meaning. And if it doesn't have meaning, if it doesn't have purpose, I don't put it on my uniform. Sure. Uh, and it's the same in the utility with uh, with with the, with the uh, army ACU uniform yes, sir. Uh, as well. So we teach our young people that, mm -hmm. and then you, of course, through the J. Rotsi program, you have that natural kind of uh, reward system. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a, a unit citation or it's individual awards that they get to wear outwardly on their uniform. You know, when I've been at, at programs where either there's been a, a town hall meeting where the uh, J. Rotsi uh, ROTC. Uh, color guard presents mm -hmm. and presents our nation's mm -hmm. colors. Mm -hmm. Our young people are proud. Yeah. They're proud to stand there in uniform. When mm -hmm. I've gone to, uh, you know, Armenian cor uh, Eagle uh, Courts of Honor, sponsored by Armenian uh, uh, organizations, mm -hmm. our young Eagle Scouts are proud. Mm -hmm. I went to a, 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 a celebration just a few years ago, uh, and we celebrated the uh, Armenian children who were graduating uh, from the Pasadena Unified School District. Mm -hmm and wisely, brilliantly, uh, mm -hmm. AGBU mm -hmm. uh, called out those young men and, mm -hmm. and said, and the young ladies, where they were going to school, mm -hmm. full right scholarship uh -huh. to Stanford, full right scholarship to Yale, full mm -hmm. right scholarship to UCLA, and on Absolutely. and on and on uh, to all these great universities and stuff. So my, the, the connection about reward mm -hmm earned reward yes. on merit. Not because you show up on time, that's just expected. But when you start to earn rewards mm -hmm. and individual merits uh, based on your, your effort, mm -hmm. uh, people start to take notice and uh, there's a sense of pride in that accomplishment. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, uh, one of the things I say is that um, w when the support starts coming for, for, for the program that we're starting, the NDCC thing, um, I, I think, Parents and kids should also be aware of, of how it works 
collectively. We, the Mendocino the mm -hmm. mudslides, the fires, the issues in Texas, possibility of man-made or natural disasters. You know, folks, um, you never know how reality is until something happens. You will never understand fully what it is until you really need someone like him and his men and women and our United States soldiers that you don't see who protect the freedom that you enjoy every day, but you, you, you don't remember them every day. You go about your daily business. But this man has a son who, who stands on that line um, with a real gun, believe it. And, and, and there's possibility of being shot at with a real bullet to protect our freedom. So we have to all come together and, and, and realize that the work we put in, it's not just for, this is for my kid to be a good boy and become a good doctor and a good lawyer so he doesn't get involved and get, no, no. We have a moral obligation as well um, to the land that we live on. And this is where it starts. You know, there's an Armenian teacher in the Republic of Armenia. She said something in Armenian. I want to translate that for you, Chief. She's a kindergarten teacher and, and became a high school teacher. This is back, back, back in Homeland. She said, do you know where the strength and the power, the strength of any society's army is? Where's the strength of the army? Where does it start? Kindergarten. So I think she was right. Don't you agree with that? Well, you know, I've always, I've always heard it said, Tony, isn't it fascinating that uh, everything you've ever needed to know in life, you learned by the third grade. Thank you, sir. No, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. The, the pleasantries, the That's respect, it. you know, respect. all those other kinds that of things as well. That needs to come back. The respect needs to come back. I did a survey like I told you. I forget how many hundred people I ask. No one in this town knows where the memorial wall is in the city of Glendale. That's a shame. Everyone is a, that's, I'm not going to have it. Yeah. I'm going to change that, Chief. And when I say I'm going to change it, I, I need the good Lord's help to do it. I need the wisdom and guidance of men like you and the women in uniform, men and women in, in uniform that serve with you. I'm going to need their guidance and their advice, but I'm going to do it. And we need, we need the parents' involvement, Tony. And we parents' our, involvement. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to address this in Armenia a little bit so that it's, it, it reaches part of the population that's out there. And, and part of the population that I speak of is pretty significant. Mm -hmm. willing and able to get involved in change, but there's a wall of reluctance mm -hmm. because a lot of them have come here with the understanding that what, what the police were, and it's, it's kind of stuck. So we're going to cure them from that. We're going to say, no, these are our cops. Uh, so look and see the service and how close it is that we can be and how strong a partnership we can have with our own police department as a community and as parents and as associations, you know, to stand in full support of our men and women in uniform. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to address them about the, um, about the, um, the JROTC, the NDCC. I'm, go I'm going to say in the end again how, how big of an honor it is to have you here. Chief. It's a pleasure to be here, Tony. God bless you and your family, sir, Thank and the you. men and women that serve under your command. I want you to know that the NDCC that I'm going to start, the one that, that, that is going to be my command, is under your command, under the battalion chiefs from, from the fire department, city of Glendale, Pasadena, Burbank, whatever it might be. Tony, we need sand, sandbags filled, whatever it might be. Uh, wherever it might be, we're, we're going to be there. Uh, Thank and this you, is Tony. what I want. A good battalion-sized support standing with, 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 with those that, that serve in uniform. Thank you and God bless you for Thank being you. here. I'm going to make a quick address in Armenian to my crowd. Um, uh, uh, Vorits mer, uh, 
մենք ունենք ես հիմա հայկական ամերիկյան ռազմական վարժարան եւ ինստիտուտ սկսելու համար ունեմ ծնողների կոմիտեի կարիքը a parents committee let's start with that ես ունեմ ձեր սատար կանգնելու աջակցելու եւ մասնակցելու կարիքը ուրեմն ինչ հաստացվում ձեր երտասարդները չեն գնա բանակ եթե չեն ուզում գնան այստեղ չենք ստորագրում կոնտրակտ որ նրանք մտնեն զինված ուժեր կամ արմի կամ նեյվի whatever it might be բայց այդ քանը լ վատ բան չի հա it's not that bad but think to serve in a military so we don't push the military but is it really that bad i mean վատ բան չի բանակում ծառայելը սիրելիներս so ծառայելուց են կո մենք չենք գովազդում բանակը մենք չենք հորդորում բայց վատ բան էլ չի ուղակի մենք մենք դրանց տալու ենք առաջնորդ լինելու կարողությունը եւ կարգապահ եւ խիստ օրինապահ քաղաքացի լինելու ունայնություն կարողություն որ նրանք չհետևեն այն ընկերներին որոնք տանում են կործանման ճանապար այլ իրենք առաջնորդ են նույնիսկ փոխեն աշխարը հա ինչ վերաբերվում է մեր հայրենիքին եւ մեր 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 հայաստանին մեր արցախին այո հայկական վարժարան ցանկություն ունեցողներ իմացեք որ նրանք գիտակցեն որ ունեն երկու հայրենիք որ հայաստանն էլ հիմնում հումանիտար օգնության կամ պաշտպանության կարիք ունենալու ժամանակ այո հայը պիտի գիտակցի աշխարում որևէ մեծ իր լինելուց որ հայաստանը միշտ իր կարիքն ունի եւ պիտի պատրաս լինի կանգնելու իր հայաստանի համար ամերիկայի միացյալ նահանգները երբ ներքին կամ արտաքին թշնամին դեպի դեմ պաշտպանության կարիք կունենա մեր յետասար տղաներ եւ աղջիկները միշտ պիտի պատրաստ լինեն զենք վերցնեն եւ պաշտպանեն միացյալ նահանգները մեր ամերիկայի որը որ ես չեմ համարում որպես երկիր որտեղ եկել եմ ես չեմ մեծացել ամերիկայում ինձ մեծացրել ամերիկան i did not grow up in the united states i was raised by the united states and this is something that my father told me may he rest in peace he said just remember you were you didn't grow up in this country you were raised by it this your mama these are his words so uremen sa aselov sireliners arachi hertin aprili 24si havakin piti khntren որտեղ որ կհավաքվենք ես տեղը կհայտարար եմ հաջորդ հերոստաշարին իբհեին եւ մեր ռազմական վարժարին ու ինստիտուտին սատար կանգնելու եւ աջակցելու համար կդրվեն լիստեր որոնք կարող եք լրացնել եւ անել եւ կանգնել մեր կողքին սրա հետ միասին շնորհակալ եմ thank you it was an honor and a pleasure to have you here god bless you the men and women that serve under you god bless the united states of america and our republic of armenia and it is it is always an honor to know that that our cities are protected and and our families are protected by such great men and women it's a privilege thank you for your thank support you, sir thank you for thank being you. here thank, thank you god bless pahyai pahpanias azgas hayots yevs yergins hayan hayastanians entovani surp yev patvagan khachovko barigisher hayastan sirum emkes aisor aiskan sireliners barigisher karotelem tunim hayreni հզոր հայրերի ումատուրներ քան քուշ մայրերի հայրենիք հաղոթում եմ աստված պահպանի